Hello everyone and I'm going to do another tutorial today and today I wanted to show you some of the Dilusions paints and a couple of other products from their range and so first of all I'll just show you the paints they're such lovely colours so the ones I'm going to be using today are these three so lovely bright colours and this is Pure Sunshine, Tangerine Dream, and Cherry Pie. I love this one. Look at that. Ooh, really nice colours. Okay. And um, these paints are, <clears throat> they're fast drying. So they're great for art journaling. If you like doing art journaling, you haven't got to be afraid of your pages sticking together. Um, they blend really well, but fast drying so your time of working them with, with them is short you need to remember that <laughs> and i'm gonna do some layering um so later on i'm gonna use the dino wakely media tape which you see it's black and white but you can color this with acrylic media paints and um, I'm sticking to a little theme here you'll see <laughs> this is a Dilusions small heart stencil so I'm going to use this this can be used with the paint or inks or you know ink sprays uh, Dilusions bubblegum pink spray lovely you see that nice colour and that's going to be, I suppose, if you like, the background. So I'm using colours that are going to complement. So you don't want to put, say, black in your background as it's going to pop out too much. Um, once I've laid that down, I've pulled out some stamps here. So I've got a Tim Holtz one. This is... It's got mixed media CMS125. Yep. this is great for texture and then just sticking with the theme again I'm going to use this one some flowers and it says cherish this is a cartabella one and then I've got just some generic stamps here with some little loves and words and I'm going to use the hearts and arrows I think on this one and to stamp from that I'm going to use black ink so I'll put that memento for the ones I really want to pop out from this colour and also peacock feathers distress ink Tim Holtz ranger so let's move those out the way for now so first I'm gonna work on laying down this colour <clears throat> paint can get a bit messy <laughs> Especially if you're using a brush because it can flick around everywhere. I know that when I'm using gesso, I always flick it everywhere. So put an apron on, and I just seen that um um who is it um Prima Finnabar they're bringing out these art sleeves. They look brilliant. I might have to invest in those. So I am guilty of getting paint everywhere. And I'm just going to stop because I forgot my sponges. Okay, so part three, we dried this off. So we can work on top of this now with any mediums, really. Any stamps, anything. So I'm going to do some ink splatters with this lovely bubblegum pink. And I'm just going to add some water. Just, just water. So we can get some dribbles going on here. Can you see what I'm doing? Just moving the sink around. Oh, that's nice. Nice dribbles. Let's do some up here. It's just going to add another bit of colour and a texture. So 
again you can just tissue this off or you can go in with your blending tool i'm going to ink on top in a minute with some stamps so i want to make sure this is all nice and dry and i'm also going to go in with this heart stencil once more with the spray this time And there you go, just another. See that? On this yellow. There we go. So I'm going to pause again and just dry this all off. Okay, so I've dried, and as you probably noticed, I was a bit heavy handed with the spray there. But I actually decided I liked the way it blurred out, so I went with it. And it's created this interesting little pattern here in the corner. So I like that. Just another, you know, pattern going on. So we've got quite a nice little background. Right now. now, this mixed media tape I showed you before. I'm going to go in with a little bit of that now. So just carrying on with this tape. So add in some colour. All of it. I want to keep some of the white because it's making it pop quite well. And I'm going to go over it a little bit. Let's see. So that's popping out now nicely and I haven't used a lot of paint there so I'm just going to dry this off with some kitchen more. Remember it is fast drying so I've not gone in the lot. Okay so let's put that out of the way. Right now I'm going to start introducing some ink so I've got my memento black and I've got that lovely peacock feathers. Let's move those out of the way. I'm going to go in first with background because I'm still building background at the minute. So, this one I'm going to use to get some lovely patterns that are going to be well with this tape. So, let's choose. I'm going to go in with this one so you can see it's got a lovely circle splodgy sort of pattern. Now, I am not really a stamper, so as you can see my acrylic block is not big enough, uh, so I must invest in some. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the green first I think because I'm still building background, I don't want anything to pop too much at this point. So I'm just going to rub this over, that creates a really nice texture stamping so let's go and give it a nice firm press okay yeah I like that can you see oh, that's a nice pattern there and do another one of those and go up to my stencil up to my tape I mean So I'm really pleased with how this is going so far. And like the one we did yesterday, I'm going to leave an area blank because I'm going to build on top of this with some images later. Okay, so that's that. And I'm just going to add some of these smaller, nice words and images in black now. Because I want them to pop out a bit more. So, I'm going to go with this little heart one, that's very cute. And it's got like a nice fat blurry edge, this one here. I like that style. Let's go in. So let's 
so I'm leaving this sort of area kind of fairly blank up here. Some more bold, some more blended in. Okay, it's starting to build a nice picture here. And I'm just going to go in with this flower and I think the butterfly. Oh, got my hand on. And maybe that word cherish, I think. So, I think I'm going to do the flower in the green because it's quite big and again I'm only building background at the moment so I don't want it to pop out too much so that's going on with our peacock feathers See my paint wasn't going to dry there, so that's nice. You can see that. This paint's very shiny, you can't see it, I think, properly on the camera. And I'm going to do one more of those down at the bottom. I really like that, that's had a nice effect. tape you can stamp over that too so I'm really happy with how this looks so far so I'm gonna keep this and I've also got this bit of background I created yesterday using the distress crayons and I'm gonna work these into something I think this is gonna build a really nice picture so really quick and I just yeah I love the colours of these distress paints I mean yeah you can buy cheaper acrylics but I really don't think you're gonna get anything this vibrant and also when it's dry the way you can apply um, stamps and everything on top so flawlessly because it's got this lovely smooth finish after so it doesn't really it, you know it's almost like you're stamping on paper so it's great for journaling and um yeah and mixed media and you know anything you could chop this up and make a lovely card with that uh so yeah hope that helps a little bit to show distress paints uh, any questions give me a shout Thank you. Bye.